Hi everyone, how are you doing today? This is Tiffany, the nurse practitioner for Dr. Wilcox, and today we are here to talk about egg donation. Uh, so the concept of egg donation might be something new for a lot of people, uh, but a lot of our patients who desire a family but are not good candidates for in vitro fertilization may choose to use an egg donor or donor eggs to help them achieve their dream of having a complete family. Um, our clinic can definitely help you with that. So today I'm just here to kind of uh, talk about the process of how it works. Uh, when the patient has an egg donor in mind, whether it's an anonymous donation or a private known donation, uh, we can help you with that. Once we get the match information between the egg donor as well as the intended parents, then we will contact the egg donor for a screening appointment. The screening basically to make sure that the egg donor will be a good candidate and that she is um, generally healthy to be able to donate her eggs. Uh, for the general egg, egg donation candidate, we do recommend someone who is less than 30 years old and who have a normal ovarian reserve. A normal ovarian reserve is usually around 15 to 20 eggs, both ovaries combined. So once we contact the egg donor, we'll set up a screening appointment and it will start with a consultation uh, just to gather some health information of the egg donor and to make sure that she is historically healthy. We'll also do a vaginal ultrasound just to make sure the uterus and the ovarian reserve is also normal. We'll also do a blood test as well as a urine test just to make sure um, the body is healthy. Specifically for the blood tests, we're testing for any infectious diseases and sexually transmitted infections per the FDA guidelines. The urine test will be test testing for any drugs or alcohol or smoking. For the blood test, we will also do a genetic testing just so that we can make sure um, genetically the egg donor will be compatible with the uh, uh, possible intended parents and that the embryos will be healthy in the future. So once all the screening is done, we will be issuing medical clearance saying that the egg donor is a great candidate and suitable to proceed with egg donation. The next step will be for the egg donor to obtain a psychological evaluation. Uh, normally the egg donation agencies can help with that. Otherwise, any licensed uh, clinical psychologist who um, is familiar with uh, um, egg donation or fertility services can also provide this uh, professional psychological evaluation. Um, after that, then we can proceed on to the legal portion where an attorney will help the intended parents and the egg donor establish a contract that both parties agree on. Once our clinic gets the psychological evaluation, the legal clearance and the medical clearance, then we can move on to the treatment process. The treatment process is just like a usual IVF cycle where the egg donor will use a short-term birth control pills and use continuous injections for about eight to 10 days or so before resulting in an egg retrieval. Once the eggs are retrieved, then we can proceed as usual with fertilization and embryo creation. So that's the general gist of the egg donation process. If you have any questions, your nurse coordinator will be able to help you answer them. See you next time.